Yo guys, welcome to this new video. Hope you are keeping well and safe during quarantine and hope you're keeping busy, not getting bored. So, let's get into this video guys. So guys, as you probably know, a jailbreak was released recently and I'm not going to tell you how to jailbreak in this video. I'm going to tell you my top tweaks, not all of them, but a lot of them. At the moment in time, my top tweaks on my device. These aren't specifically aimed at iPhone 10 or above, but if you would like me to do some tweaks for that, comment down below in the comment section. And also, if you're having trouble with these tweaks, comment down below in the comment section, because I'll try and help you. If I can't help you, there'll be other people that watch this video that will try and help you. Just a quick note guys, if you want to know how to do this, where well, I have my me emoji on my head, you can also have any an emojis on your head as well. If you want to know how to do this, check the description for my link for my video and you'll be able to do this. It's very simple guys and it's effective. So, let's get into the videos. So guys, we're going to start with Cylinder, which is a tweak to change your animations. So when you're flicking between pages, you can get these cool animations like this. And that is done by the use of Cylinder. You have a load of different options for your animations, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. You have to go into Settings, then Cylinder then enable and then effects and then here are all the list of options that you can have for your device so no more boring animations spice it up a bit so I'll do a few demonstrations now so once you've selected one you do not need to respring your device you can just go back to the home screen and it will save what you've set so we're going to try it here now As you can see, that's a different animation to what I had before. Gonna go back. There's lots of different ones to pick from. I don't show you all of them. I'm just giving you a quick tour on what you can have. I like this one as well. It's just simple, but it's an effective way to make your device different and stand out. And it just looks cool, to be honest. There we have it guys, that was Cylinder for you, which changes your animations. I hope you enjoyed that tweak, and we'll be moving on to the next one. So guys, this is Flow, which is a tweak for your music. So the background reflects the background of the album artwork on the music wherever you're listening from, Spotify, Apple Music, you just your own music on the device, it will just display the back, like not the background, you can set it like that, but like the background colour to your device. The next one we have guys is Easy Swipe or EZ Swipe. So we're going to use the left and the right side of the phone and swipe down to get to the control center. And you can customize this and change it to whatever you want. So the left side might go to your spotlight search and the right side control center when you swipe down. Pretty cool app, especially if you have, well tweak, especially if you have an iPhone 10 or something like that with the big screen. Along with this EZ swipe, we have Show My Touch, which is a separate tweak, but I just thought I'd throw it in, and that just shows where you are on the screen. So when you're screen recording, you can see where my finger was, as you can see, and it works, well, works quite well actually. I don't have it on all the time though. And here is volume percent. So volume percent shows a little volume percentage when you're 
turning your volume up and down. You can get it bang on to like 75%, whatever you want, without having to go to the control center. So small Siri is a good tweak because it doesn't take up your whole screen. It's and 1614. What I didn't show you with this tweak is that you can carry on using your device as normal so your screen is still active so you can be yes, talking to Siri while to scrolling through in Instagram. London. iPad bar 13 allows you to do many different things inside the tweak. For example, you can change the carrier text to anything that you want and you can change the time to have seconds included you can also change the font size of the time in this status bar and this tweak allows you to have the ipad style dock and the app switcher this tweak allows you to hide the folder blur for the folders on the home screen Obviously, when you still click on them, it still shows the blur, but on the home screen, it just looks fresh. So, if we jump over to the settings, then you're going to scroll down to home screen, and then you can hide the dot blur, the folder blur. I just have the folder blur one on. With this tweak, you can also hide the page indicators, so you won't know how many pages you have. So from before, you're probably wondering how I did the lock screen, it's using Photon. So this gives you cool unique looks for your lock screen to make them look fresh and stand out. It's much better than the normal lock screen. So you can jump over to settings and Photon. And then you can change it to whatever you like guys. So you got to enable it. And then you can pick which face you sort of want. So you can have the Apple Watch face look. And then you apply it. And then it looks like this, guys. So I have two tweaks rolled together there. But then we have Rofi. Rofi is sort of like a second dock. And it can be opened by any app. So you can set which apps you want there. You can have how many rows you want there so how many apps you want there and you can be open in an app so like you can be in the clock app and open Rofi and then open the app straight away it's that simple next tweak we have is size finder size finder is when you hold down and edit the home screen tells you which apps are using the most storage and if you want to delete an app it's just simple just click on the size and it will just say are you sure you want to delete this app and then click yeah so it's very simple guys and it's a good way to tell what's taking up your storage rounded modules is for your control center makes it look rounded obviously that's what it's called so just gives it a different look to what you normally have obviously these all store function properly and just makes it look better in my opinion uh, I don't know about you Drop down what you think about this down below in the comment section. Be good to know your opinion. Right, so next week we have is pencil charging indicator. This I really like. What happens is when you charge your phone, look, it just tells you there, plugged in like the Apple Pencil. We also have, when you have low battery, it will tell you like low battery in that same format. It's very cool, guys. I hope you enjoyed that tweak as well. You can also customise these, so light and dark sort of modes. So, brings us to the end of the video guys. If you're going to use any of these tweaks, drop it down in the comment section. Let me know. Hope you've enjoyed the video guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more good content coming soon.